All right, welcome back, family. I pray everybody is doing well and having a wonderful, blessed day as we, of course, give the Most High Yah all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. My title says, Hidden Rock Bottom. Hidden Rock Bottom. Growing up, that was an old saying. When people just couldn't get right in their lives, they always stay comfortable in their life of sin, willfully sinning. And those older folks would say, they got to hit rock bottom before they wake up. They got to hit rock bottom. Hitting rock bottom is, is what it takes for a lot of people. Now, the sad thing about this is so many people think they got a lot of time to get it right. But then they wind up dying in the midst of their sins. But when you hit rock bottom, somebody know what I'm talking about. You ever look at a crackhead or somebody with a serious addiction, whether it's drinking or smoking or whatever the, the sin may be, as long as they're doing that sin, they, it's pleasing to their flesh. It, it feels good to them. And they really don't understand that they are serving Satan. Come on, teach this for me, Holy Spirit. And, and, and it... it, it, it it seems like more and more nowadays, more people are in love with their sin. But they say they love God. Hmm. Question is, which God do they love? Bible say you can't serve two masters. But it takes hidden rock bottom if it don't kill you. For you to wake up. Because some people don't understand. They're going to continue to keep trying all the dope, the drugs and everything. They're going to continue to keep doing it because they think it's really an answer in that. But it's not. Once you come off of your hotness, your drunkenness, your hoarding aroundness, you got the same problem because you ain't realized yet that you fighting something that you cannot win on your own. Mm. And it takes hidden rock bottom. See, a lot of people that's got money, they, they, they think they okay because they got money. But see, when, when you look at look at it in the long run, a lot of people that's, that's wealthy and rich, they are never really satisfied. Hmm. They got to take this kind of drug. They, they, they got to take this to go to sleep. They in and out of, out of this to meet and hurt. They, 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 they can't figure out to save their life that they need the Holy Spirit. Because hmm. I don't care how much money you got. All that money without the Holy Spirit... You lost. It just seemed like you living a good life because you can buy whatever you want. But oh, when you hit rock bottom, mm, when whenever, whatever, and whatever you serving, when it's not working for you no more, and then you start. That's when people start to take that turn, that turn in life. I done tried all the dope. Mm. I done ran all the holes I could run. I done did this that way. Done done it that way. I'm tired. See, it takes hitting rock bottom because that's when you are exhausted. You ain't got nothing that's left in you. So only thing you can't, you, you so beat down that you can't do nothing but look to start looking up. And that's when you got to realize I need help. Hmm. I am a sinner. I need deliverance. I need to be saved. I got to get out this I mentality. I done tried the devil way for so long that I can't do it no more. I'm at rock bottom. Mm. Now I want to rise to the top. Bible say any man made in Christ is a new creature and that all things shall pass away. Mm. You cannot be the same person that you was if you are operating and have the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit not going to allow you to. That's why you must kill that flesh. You must die daily to yourself. You must deny yourself every chance you get to survive and make it in this life. If you're talking about going to heaven and repent and confess and be obedient and try your best to have that change of heart, renew that mindset and never be that person that you used to be when you hit rock bottom. JT had to hit rock bottom in my life. There was one point of time in my life I thought I had it going on. I really did. Couldn't tell me nothing. 
But see, the most high got a way of breaking you down to show you. See, this is why you got to hit rock bottom because if you don't hit rock bottom, you will think that you're the one that's doing everything yourself. I got that job. I'm making that money. I provided this. Ah, 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 ah. But you don't never acknowledge the Holy Spirit. So now the Holy Spirit got to break you down. Hmm. And then you trying to build up things that the Holy Spirit keep trying to turn down and say, leave that alone. I got a bigger blessing for you. If you would just come on and worship me. Mm. Try Yahweh and leave your way alone. Oh, when you hit rock bottom, you'll cry like a little baby. I know I've been there. When you hit rock bottom and, and the Holy Spirit takes over, you are you are new with your words. Oh, come on now. You got a whole new mindset. When you have the least thought of getting ready to, to say something or do something, Holy Spirit convict you so fast, next time you know you saying amen. May God bless you, sister. That cold worker get on your nerve. Before you cuss them out, you, may God bless you. Big shout out to my sister Janice, my co-worker. We was talking about the Holy Spirit this morning. And I said, one thing that I love about the Holy Spirit, it, it's a comforter. It, it, it comes, I don't like to call the Holy Spirit it, forgive me, Father. The Holy Spirit, it, it, excuse me, the Holy Spirit teaches me. The comfort that I have, the peace of mind that I have, I can be broke as I don't know what. And, and, and I, I just have a feeling inside of me that I have no worries. Mm. Because I know that the Bible say, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? So why am I going to chase this world? This world ain't got nothing to offer me but destruction. Mm. But when you hit rock bottom, your mindset is like, I done went as far as I can. Sad thing is, once again, a lot of people, they died in their sins. They didn't live to tell a story. They didn't get to say how the most high straightened them up. Their life ended just like that. Because see, what, what most people got to understand in this life, even as a believer, when you don't do what the most high tell you to do, and you keep wilding around in your sin and, and, and being disobedient, your life's going to end. The wicked seem like they last forever. But even in the wicked, the Bible say the wicked, the wicked time is, 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 is it's going to be cut off. Some of y'all at rock bottom right now. And I just want to encourage you in your rock bottomness. Look up to the Father. Because now he got your attention. You ain't making that money like you used to. <laughs> you, you done lost your wife. You done lost your husband. He got your attention now. I hope you paying attention. And it's your, it's your job to pay attention. Because if you're not listening to the Holy Spirit... You think your life hard now, just keep living. It's going to get worse for you. I encourage you in your rock bottom time right now to, to focus on what's, what's going to bring you out of that. I'm reminded of the prodigal son. It took that prodigal son to hit rock bottom all the way. He wanted everything now. Mm. Father, just give me everything. I want all my inheritance right now. Give me everything. And when he got it all, he thought that was going to really please him. And that was the answer to all his problems. But he had to hit rock bottom before he realized he had it made already at where he was at. Mm, come on, teach all the spirit. He realized that he already had it going on, but he got beside himself. He got big headed. It's a lot of our family members like that right now. Just give me mine right now, then you go out there and blow it. You smoked it away. You drunk it away. You hold around. You lost it. You you messed around and got a disease. You, you fighting with something that the doctors don't even know what it is. C come on, teach Holy Spirit. I'm trying to shake the hell out of somebody right now. Shake the hell up out of you so you can so you can be right in the most high's eyesight. When you hit rock bottom. Think about how how you've been doing stuff so long, so wrong, and you thought in your wrong that your wrong was right. But now you at rock bottom. Ain't no way to turn. Your friends can't help you. Half of them wasn't your friends. No way. Your family done turned their back on you. I know. I know how it go. Church folks looking down, you crazy. I know. 
So when everybody turn their back on you, you got to be like King David and pat yourself on the back and encourage yourself. Even though it may seem like you don't have a friend in this world, we got somebody that ain't never lost, not one battle. Y'all know who it is. I love you. That's my little word for the day. You take care and have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. See you at large chat tonight if you can make it. We're going to have a real talk, open discussion on whatever was ever on your heart. You know, so if you can join in tonight at 930, we're going to do it again. And I appreciate everybody who, who joined in last night as we talked about gifts. If you caught it, it was powerful and all glory and honor to the most high. That's, that's where all my credit goes to, to the most high. So I love y'all. Y'all take care and have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.